Here's problem 16.5. An earthquake emits both S waves and P waves, which travel at different speeds through the Earth. A P wave travels at 9,000 meters per second, and an S wave travels at 5,000 meters per second. If P waves are received at a seismic station one minute before an S wave arrives, how far away is the earthquake center? Well, let's say you have the Earth, and you have a earthquake, and you have these S waves, which look something like this, and travel a certain distance, and then you have the P waves, which look like this, and they travel the same distance. So we're talking about a distance, let's call it D, where they'll arrive finally at some point over here. So basically, we can say that that distance D is equal to the velocity of the P wave times the time of the P wave, or 9,000 times the time for the P wave. And that same distance d is equal to the velocity of the s wave times the time for the s wave, which would be 5,000 times the time for the s wave. We know that p waves are received one minute before an s wave arrives, so the time for an s wave is equal to the time for a p wave plus one minute. Let's work with seconds, so that's plus 60 seconds. We also know that this distance d is equal to the distance d. So 9,000 times the time for a P wave is equal to 5,000 times the time for an S wave. Divide both sides by 5,000 and we'll have that 1.8 times the time for a P wave is equal to the time for an S wave. Let's take this and substitute in there. So now we have that 1.8 times the time for a P wave is equal to the time for a P wave plus 60. Subtract the time T sub P from both sides. So I have 0 0.8 T sub P is equal to 60, or the time for a P wave is 60 divided by 0 0.8, which will give me 75 seconds. Nice to know. I've always wanted to know that. But we want to find how far away the earthquake center is. We know the time now for the P wave. So we know that that distance is 9,000 times the time for a P wave. So that's going to be 9,000 times meters per second times 75 seconds. And that gives me 675,000 meters, or 675 kilometers. So that is the distance that the earthquake center is away from that location where the station is receiving these waves, 675 kilometers away.